गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल मोलिकुलर मिस्ट्रीज सो होप यू आर ऑल फॉलोइंग माई चैनल रेगुलरली आई हैव ऑल्सो सीन द पीपल स्टूडेंट्स आंसरिंग माई क्वेश्चन इन द कम्युनिटी टैप आई एम सो हैप्पी एंड थैंकफुल फॉर ऑल ऑफ यू ओके इन द लास्ट क्लास वी हैव ऑलरेडी कवर्ड द इम्पॉर्टेंट टॉपिक्स टिल लाइक अपर रेस्परेटर सिस्टम लोअर एंड ऑल्सो आर्टीरियल सिस्टम हाउ डज द हार्ट साउंड आर मेड एंड ऑल राइट सो होप यू आर ऑल फॉलोइंग द क्लास रेगुलरली एंड नाउ द टाइम हैज कम टू टॉक अबाउट द इम्पॉर्टेंट एंड इंटरेस्टिंग टॉपिक कॉल्ड एंडोक्रेनोलॉजी बिकॉज एंडोक्रेन ग्लैंड आर द इम्पॉर्टेंट ग्लैंड दैट रेगुलेट अवर बॉडी मेटाबॉलिज्म एंड इट ऑल्सो इज important role in many things so now in uh, in this class let's talk about the uh, endocrinology and as you have already seen the thumbnail this class is all about the thyroid gland so uh, as we can't cover each and every hormone in one class i thought it would be easy for everyone to understand if i divide all the um, types of hormones in many different classes so in this class is mainly meant for the thyroid gland okay so okay uh, this all covers what are the uh, uh, irregularities that happen uh, for a person if there is no proper production of thyroxine into their blood okay so before entering into the class let's have the basics of hormones because hormones are something you need to start at uh, uh, from the scratch okay so hormones are the chemical substances or you can say they are the organic substances which are called the chemical messengers that are released into the blood in very smaller amounts so you all know that hormones are all uh, not available in food we can't get hormones from the food okay body has to produce according to the situation that we face okay okay now these hormones uh <clears throat> there are uh, there these hormones mainly regulate our body metabolism like uh, 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 mainly homeostasis secretion uh, the gastrointestinal tract mobility digestion heartbeat kidney function lactation reproduction and also you know maintaining the blood pressure is all done by your messengers called the hormones okay in this class let's talk about the thyroid gland and this glands are mainly divided into three different functions glands with different function mixed and other structures now let's deal with the glands with different function which include the thyroid okay the glands with different function include thyroid parathyroid adrenal pituitary thymus and pineal okay let's now concentrate on the thyroid gland okay this class is about thyroid gland so thyroid gland is an important gland that is present at the ventral side of your larynx okay it is the largest endocrine gland and it is a bilobed organ or bilobed uh, gland that is connected by the median isthmus okay this is called the thyroid gland structure of thyroid would be in this way okay so now these thyroid hormones helps in oxygen consumption of all organs except brain retina etc okay now what is thyroxine so i told you these thyroid glands would produce an important structure called thyroxine which is regulated by the tsh of pituitary so thyroid stimulating hormone so you all know that pituitary is the master gland which would regulate the body's thyroid maintenance right so that is how uh, pituitary maintains how much amount of thyroxine need to be released into the blood according to the movement okay according to the necessity and now so this thyroid issues what are the thyroid issues now uh, this call this class is all about the issues and irregularities of thyroid hormone let's get into it so for that you have a test called thyroid test which covers tsh t3 and t4 now first irregularity is hypothyroidism hypothyroidism is uh, is a, i can say it's an underactive thyroid or where low thyroxine is produced into the blood and the deficiencies include less or non availability of iodine in the foods diseases mainly include cretinism and mixed edema cretinism in children and mixed edema in the adults okay this is how the hypothyroidism look like the cretinism occurs in the childhood patients may mentally retarded sterile and called cretin they have thick and dry skin they have pot belly gaping mouth thick lips and enlarged tongue these are the symptoms of cretinism in the childhood okay and if you enter into the uh, adults it is called the mixed edema which occurs in adults puffiness in the skin due to mucus accumulation heavy body poor memory muscle weakness low blood pressure hair fall and intolerance to cold these are all the symptoms of mixed edema which mainly occurs due to 
hypothyroidism so these are the levels of the reference range of thyroid stimulating hormone now let's enter into hyperthyroidism which is overproduction of your thyroxine into the blood so more and more production of thyroid hormone results in the considerable increase in the glucose and oxygen consumption and due to which the bmr is increased right the bmr is a basal metabolic rate and due to the increase in bmr you can see the changes happening like the nervous tissue nervous tension restlessness fatigue and tremors muscle weakness weight loss warm and soft skin and anxiety these are all coming under the hyperthyroidism symptoms okay now these are all the you have heard about the graves disease which is also called the goiter disease due to this you have the protrusion of your eyeballs due to the accumulation of your mucus in the eye orbits and this is mainly due to the hyperthyroidism okay and let's talk about the other important thing called simple goiter simple goiter is mainly due to the deficiency of iron in the foot so what happens if there is no proper iron efficient iron availability in the foot for that to obtain more and more iron from the blood there would be more and more production normal uh, more than normal uh, production of the glands and thus it helps it increases the uh, uh, follicular size leading to the enlargement of your neck so this leads to the uh, neck enlargement puffiness in the neck and also the size of neck would be red increased so this is called the en uh, enlarged glands called the swelling of the neck okay so hope i am clear with the topic called thyroid in this class so uh in the next class i will talk ab interestingly about the other important endocrine gland uh, okay so uh, if you have any questions please let me know in the comment box i am also linking the related topics uh, along with the description box okay so thank you and have a nice day